Hey guys, this is Mithun and welcome to my YouTube tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a screen capture and turn it into a GIF or a GIF using TechSmith's Snagit software. So if you are somebody who wants to generate a lot of GIFs or GIFs using a software, this tutorial is meant for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, Snagit's homepage on my desktop screen and uh, you can just click on the buy now button to buy the software or you can just download it as a free trial and after the installation you will be able to use the software for free for a limited time i've already installed the premium version on my computer so i will just start with the tutorial right away right off the bat if you don't want to spend money on a software that you need to install on your computer i'd strongly recommend you to use something called pepo cloud i've been using pepo cloud and it is one of my favorite cloud based web application that uh, completely replaces all the screen sharing and screen recording software that exist in the market today. On top of that, it has also a lot of features that lets you edit on the go and share with your colleagues and collaborate with teams without any problem. So if you don't want to use Snagit for your uh, screen capture, screen recording and editing, I'd strongly recommend you to give Pepo Cloud a try. I have personally been using Pepo Cloud for a long time and I can confidently recommend it to my friends and my family and whoever wants to use a screen recording software. Now that uh, uh, I've shared my personal experience with Pepo Cloud with you, I'm going to show you how to create a GIF with uh, Snagit. So after the installation of Snagit, you will see that you have a window that looks something like this. You may have a new version of Snagit with you. But I have this version, so I'm going to show you how to generate a GIF using this version only. What you want to do is you want to uh, select an option called uh, video. As you can see, there are three different options. One, all-in-one, which actually lets you choose between video and audio after you click on the capture button. This one is for image captures, which means if you have a text or something that you need to capture on your screen, you can use this option. And the third one is for video captures, which means that it will start recording the screen of your computer. And uh, once the recording is completed, uh, you, can you can share or save the video or edit the video uh, depending on your need. So uh, what I'm going to do is in order to create a GIF, I have to click on the uh, video option and select the setting that I want to use. I'm going to select the region because uh, if I select the window, it is going to cover the whole screen and uh, the GIF might have a bigger file size because of uh, so much real estate on the screen. So I'm going to go for the region and after that, uh, I'm going to select on none because I don't want to share this with anybody. And on top of that, there is a, an option to record your webcam. If you have a webcam and if you want to record your webcam and turn it into a GIF, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that in this uh, tutorial. So let's just skip this. Uh, you can uh, enable the capture cursor option or uh, disable it, uh, whatever you need. Record your micro microphone. It does not make any sense to record my microphone at the moment because GIFs don't have any audio. So I'm going to disable it and uh, I'm going to also disable the record system audio. And once that is done, I'm going to click on the capture button. Once I click on the capture button, it will show me this crossbar uh, that I can use to set the frame of my recording. And once I set this frame of my recording, I can just uh, resize it after, before actually starting the recording and uh, click on this record button. Uh, as you can see, when I hover my mouse over this record icon, you can see there is a record uh, label appearing beneath it which also states that there is a hotkey that I can use to start the recording, which is shift plus F9. So I'm just going to click on this record icon and within three seconds, it will start recording. Just for the sake of this tutorial and the GIF that I'm going to create, I'm going to just scroll down and uh, uh, scroll down a bit and wait for it to complete. And once that is done, I'm going to click on stop. I can also use the hotkey shift plus F9 as suggested by the software itself to end this recording. So I'm just going to click on this icon. As soon as I click on that icon to stop the recording, it automatically uh, shows me this uh, recorded file inside the Snagit editor. This is where I can actually trim the recording and convert it into a PNG or a GIF depending on my need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the recording and see if I have to uh, 
uh, get rid of something or not since as you can see that after this particular point there is no movement on the screen so i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna click delete so now uh, a large portion of that recording is completely gone and i think uh, now we can actually convert into a convert it into a gif in order to convert this recording into a gif all i have to do is click on this gif icon that appears beneath this play bar and I click on this gif icon now there is a window that uh, you can use to control the output of the gif file as you can see automatically it has selected reduced file size which means that the quality of the gif might not be great so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to select the screen video because my aim is to create a high quality recording and turn it into a gif and uh, upload it onto my computer or my website so i'm going to go with the screen video because it offers the most quality without any compromise in the frame rates. So after that, I'm gonna click on create. As you can see, it has already started creating the GIF and it should be done within like four or five seconds. Once it is done, all I have to do is click on the share icon and select the file icon. Once the file icon is selected, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna save this GIF onto my desktop and name it sample.gif and boom it has already saved the gif in the background all i have to do is visit my desktop and play the gif so this is the gif that we recorded just a few seconds ago and you can see that the quality is outstanding and uh, you wouldn't be able to tell if it is a gif or a video file so that's the level of quality snagit offers but if you want to take it a step more further you can use a pepo cloud because i I reckon PepoCloud actually has a lot of features that lets you add a bunch of uh, effects onto your screen records before you actually uh, convert it into a GIF or before you actually download it. So that's the reason why I prefer PepoCloud over Snagit in this regard. If you are looking for a software, if you are looking for a web-based application to generate a lot of GIFs, I would still recommend you to give PepoCloud a try if you are not happy with Snagit. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any doubts, please drop your comments in the comment section below. Bye bye. Take care.